All right, we're back with High Definition Golf. I've uh, been doing a lot of videos with the FlightScope Mevo Plus, and I had some people ask about the High Definition Golf Simulator uh, that I'm actually using the FlightScope Mevo Plus in, and so I figured I'd give a little example. I know that I showed Pebble Beach on the Mevo Plus uh, with E6 Connect, and so I figured I would give an example here of High Definition Golf. So I have Pebble Beach hole number seven set up, uh, in a practice format, and I figured I would just play the hole once or twice and just kind of give everybody an idea of uh, how high definition golf looks and uh, works. Um, you can kind of check out the putting surface uh, compared to other you know simulators, the way they make it active, and I'll kind of explain how everything works in the system. Uh, so first off, uh, I have a ball that is a Pro V1 that has a metallic strip. Uh, it's like a reflective strip rather than metallic. Uh, if you can see that and it just helps the dedicated spin camera above uh, measure the spin in the ball so it actually detects the reflection uh, and then it actually measures the spin of the ball uh, much more accurately with this on there it actually can do it without but they recommend for the best results to have that on there and it lasts an extremely long time as long as you're not hitting it you're just facing it away there's a dedicated club camera above uh, that's going to get your your uh, not only your swing path but the face angle, and then there's two dedicated stereo cameras that measure ball speed, launch angle, as well as make the entire surface active for putting. Uh, so the putting is extremely active. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, ex extremely accurate. Um, there's infrared all over, um, obviously for the cameras uh, to be able to light up the ball and, uh, and read accurately. Um, this hole, it plays currently where the pin and the tees are at 87.9 yards and the pin altitude is 25 feet down. So it's probably playing about, you know, uh, well, geez, put, put myself on the spot here. I mean, I'd call it in the lower 80s now, um, you know, on 25 feet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit a 58 degree wedge, which should make it down on the green. really like how HD is so instantaneous. Uh, the ball takes off right where it hits on the screen instantly. Um, so, I mean, you can see how, you know, quick it is, accurate it is. Um, I mean, when that ball hits right here, it, you can see the path take off right from the ball, which I've always found really neat. The other thing that I think is really neat is the surface area that becomes all active when putting. You can use the same ball to putt, and you can put the ball, even though they you know, tell you you can put it in the center, if you're in a short, short throw uh, situation like me, it kind of can get a little annoying to have your head in the way, and so you don't need to. You can actually put it here as long as you're putting towards the hole. So you can see the hole right here. Uh, obviously it looks like it's a tad downhill. It doesn't look like there's much break here, and it's a 24 foot putt. So, I have 10 feet to my screen. If I put this ball to the screen, it basically would roll exactly 10 feet, as long as there's no uphill or downhill. Uh, it's, it's very accurate with putting. So I'm gonna try to get this thing 24 feet. Get a better backstroke there. Oh, I had the distance decent. That was close, three feet to uh, the cup and it, I'm just, I don't know if I have gimme's on or not. Oh, see, you're gonna be able to see a three foot putt. So, once again, aiming at the hole, I'm just gonna hit this three feet or four feet. I purposely hit that nice and soft so you can see that it traveled from here to here, which is about five feet, and it, and it read it really well. I could have even hit it softer uh, for such a short putt. I'm going to go ahead and play the hole one more time to give a little more example. It's obviously easy to, uh, and it looks like it actually has me aimed a little bit to the left. I can actually move my view left and right as much as I want here. And you can see the GPS map, which is the most accurate. You're working with static images that have been laid down on LiDAR. Uh, GPS uh, graphic uh, images. That's that's how you can they can get such true play 
with real images is that it's actually, you know, uh, they use topography and lay it over top of the real images so it knows when a ball lands how the ball is going to bounce. And then over here is their GPS data, which they've, you know, uh, coded out, whatever you want to call it, uh, to where you can accurately see distance and, you know, move your aim around. Um, not just on the main screen, which is nice when you're playing longer holes or whatever. And that's also a real GPS image. Oh, well, <laughs> that one carried 85 yards. I'm trying to get that distance down. It's tough when it's 25 feet downhill, but that was a better shot. So I have a 12 foot putt. I'm gonna do the same thing here. So this ball, in order to get to the hole, needs to go just past my screen essentially, because it's, it's a little downhill. We'll see if I can get this one right in the hole. Like I said, I'm aiming right at the cup. And I guess I should demonstrate this. This is their new putting technology that allows you to look at your putt from anywhere, which I think is really cool. Um, and you can see, obviously, it's all real images uh, behind. And, and you can see the two-time uh, vertical enhanced image of the actual break of the green. So you can really analyze putting. Um, you can go down to the ground and look at the break that way. And I think you can even go closer to wherever the hole is. So if I wanted to go down and kind of follow the path, I could. And I can even putt right here if I want to. But it's pretty easy just to reset the view for a normal putt and then go that way. Um, you could replay shots. So I can watch my ball come back in. I can replay that last shot, which is pretty easy. Um, you can do flag in putting. <laughs> which uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. They changed that. The USGA rules got changed, and they uh, they updated that right away, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, they actually you know make these updates so so rapidly. Um, an AccuPutt line shows how it's going to break and how fast the ball needs to go. Usually play with that off and make it a little more difficult. You can actually disable it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and try to make this 12 foot. Well, I definitely read that one wrong because it had it going right. So, I'm going to have to put that one in. And I can actually take a mulligan. Oh, no, it was must have been within gimme distance. Okay, so, I was going to say I was going to uh, take a, a mulligan and actually show you guys another putt there. But um, So, uh, I think that pretty much wraps everything up as far as HD golf goes. I mean, I, why don't I show you guys some chipping really quick? Um, it's a pretty cool feature that they have. Now you can practice uh, chipping. Let's see here. It's called dynamic chipping and putting. And it takes you out to a hole on Pebble Beach where you can select the different areas that you want to chip and putt from. So uh, this is a 26 yard chip. So I'm gonna grab that 58 again. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a chip from here. Pretty lazy, I align the ball with my feet rather than just using my hands sometimes, but 26 yards. That was a little short on my part. I only carried 18 yards. I hit that a little fat. And so now I get to putt. Show you some more putting. I wouldn't have to putt right now. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll putt from the center this time so you guys can actually see uh, how that is from the center. Looks like it's uphill. Uh, breaks a little bit to the right. And it's 17 feet. So I kind of got to get, get after this thing a little bit. Oh, I didn't 
didn't hit it hard enough. Yeah, I'll have to try a feet short. But you'll be able to see another putt. It's, it was way more uphill than I thought. I mean, you can see I should have used the, uh, you know, the 3D to see how much uphill it was. The, the faster the arrows move, the heavier uh, the break or the, the uphill downhill. Um, so this is just five feet, but it's uphill. So I'm going to hit this thing pretty much to the screen. There we go. And then I'll show you a different chip. So you got one over there. Over here. A little short downhill chip. Uh, you got one really close. I think this would be a good one to show uh, because it's a super short chip. So um, I'll tell you what I'll try to do. I'll try to hit like a little more of a flop shot just so you can see it read that. It's 11 yards. Pretty close. This tough one is only 11 yards. You can see how that line was way up top because like I said, it always detects right where the ball hits. And I'll do another putt. You can see how different this is from E6, and that's why I purchased the Mevo Plus, because I like to have options, and it was ever, I'm using all my existing stuff. So all I had to do, 6.7 downhill, I don't have to hit this thing that hard. I'll purposely hit it really light so you can see a light putt. You can hit it that light. Oh, it was so light it broke on me. And it reads it really well. I mean, I barely, barely hit that thing. And it takes you back, so. Um, it's much different than E6 Connect. Uh, I mean, obviously the way that you, you don't fly with the ball or certain things aren't 3D, um, but it plays very true. It's very accurate. Um, you know, it's a fun system. I thought that uh, since a few people inquired, it'd be good to kind of give a little brief overview. And I can do other things. Uh, if you want to see other things on, on HD Golf, I'd be more than happy to show them. Um, you know, just leave me a comment below and let me know.